and welcome to another episode of Advice from the Fat Lady. I am your host, the Fat Lady, and I'm here to give you advice. Um, I've been asked what my name was. (laughs) Well, my name is Naomi. Uh, And to add, I'm 42 years old and I'm single and love and life. Yay me. Um, Other than that, things are, you know, I'm, I'm a normal human being. And I just want to give advice of things that I can either try or I like. And, you know, one of those, you know, all that good stuff. Um, this is my new microphone. It is a Yeti blue and it is a monster. And I'm very excited about this microphone. So excuse me while my cat tries to destroy things on me today. Today's episode, we are going to be trying chocolates from the local drugstore. My local drugstore is Walgreens, and they have many different types of chocolates. Um, But the two big brands that have always seemed to be around is Whitman's Assorted Chocolates and Russell Stover's Chocolates. And I've always been partial to creams, but since Whitman's doesn't make a cream assorted cream set, I got their sampler, their assorted chocolates, and Russell Stover's assorted. So we're going to kind of be on an even keel on that one. And my cat keeps getting into things that I have sitting out. (laughs) She has been begging for attention. So I apologize if she continues to interrupt me as I'm trying to film because she's not a very well-behaved cat. And I don't know why. All right, so to do this fairly, I'm going to take out the ones that are similar in each one. So nut clusters, caramels, and, you know, kind of get each one out um, that is similar to each other so that we can give a really good, uh, you know, comparison. And I'll tell you which one has better, the you know, has better chocolate. So... Let's get down to that. Okay, so I have assorted the ones that have either similar or the same kind of chocolates. And it turns out they have only five each, which still is a lot of chocolate. (laughs) So we're going to do five rounds of chocolate tasting. And hopefully I don't go into a chocolate coma. So first up, we have the Peanut Cluster. Both of them came in little yellow uh, packages here. So first I'm going to try Whitman's. Now Whitman's um, cost $10.99, while Russell Stover's was $9.99. So here is Whitman's Peanut Cluster. Um, it's milk chocolate. It's kind of bland, actually. Um, it's all right. The Russell Stover's here is actually just a little bit thicker. A little bit more chocolate. vast difference in the chocolate. Wow. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. So in comparing the Whitman's and the Russell Stover's peanut clusters, Russell Stover's wins. This one over here definitely Point for Russell Stover's. Um, I'm not saying Whitman's isn't good. 
It's just not as good. Uh, the chocolate was richer and it tasted better with the Russell Stover's. It had more of a creaminess, even though both of them are milk chocolate. Huh. Russell Stover's. One point. The next flavor we have is the nut caramel. And Whitman's is milk chocolate, while Russell Stover's is a dark chocolate and a big giant square. So let's try Whitman's. Very chewy. Be right back. Whitman's caramel was very, very, very chewy. So I, I had to step away for a moment there. Uh, it was very good. Next is the Russell Stover's dark chocolate nut caramel. Interesting. Um, yeah, well, just says nut caramel. Um, Whitman's nut caramel had no nuts. So maybe it's peanut flavored caramel. I didn't notice any of that. Um, while Russell Stover's still pretty chewy caramel. But there's actually nuts in it. There was actually peanuts. And it doesn't say that it's a peanut caramel. It honestly just says nut caramel. All right. Um, I prefer Russell Stover's. For one, their dark chocolate is delicious. And it actually had nuts in the caramel. All right. Two points. Let's go on to chocolate number three, which I believe is the chocolate covered nuts. Um, Whitman's has chocolate milk chocolate covered peanuts, while Russell Stover's has dark chocolate covered almonds. I know two different kind of nut. I, I'm aware of this. I, I'm fully aware that these are two different nuts. But these are the comparisons. Whitman's chocolate covered peanut. That is the most, that is the strangest thing. There is zero flavor in the chocolate. How is that possible? Hmm. <clears throat> And a very dry nut. Hold on while I go choke. <coughs> Alright, so next is the Stover's. Stover's? Stover's. Russell Stover's. Stover's is a frozen meal. Russell Stover's. Mil uh, dark chocolate almond. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't even like dark chocolate. But... Already, I'm saying, don't waste your dollar and get Whitman Sampler. Save your dollar and get the Russell Stover's assorted chocolates. Oh yeah, that is absolutely phenomenal. Wow. <clears throat> Day and night. I don't know how Whitman's makes their chocolate, but... All right, so the next flavor we are trying is just the chocolate covered caramel. Whitman's is, um, they're about the same size. I would actually say Whitman's is actually a little bit smaller. Um, and based upon their nut caramel, I'm thinking that it also might be really more of a harder caramel, but let's try it. Um, Whitman's is a dark chocolate 
And Russell Stover's is a milk chocolate. Much prettier, too. All right. Whitman's. Zero flavor. Oh, wait. What? Found, found chocolate. It's all right. Nothing to write home about. Um, I'm going to clear my palette really quick. And I'll be right back. All right. So this is the Russell Stover's Caramel. And it's also just really pretty. They put a lot more care and design into what their chocolates look like, I think. All right. Mm. This one ended up being a little bit more firm. But right off, the chocolate just hits your taste buds really nicely. Yeah. That was actually able to be eaten much nicer. All right. I'm sorry to say, that's another point for Russell's Dovers. So right now, I don't know if I gave a score for the last one, but the chocolate covered almond, that was a three point. That gave it three points. This one is giving it four points. So out of two sides out of, you know, five each, Russell Stover's is winning, like hands down. And in the words of the Good Mythical Morning crew, uh, it's going to be a queen sweep. All right. Because huh, I don't know how the last one's going to beat out. I'm, I, I have high hopes for Russell Stover's. And the next one I bring to you, ladies and gentlemen, it is a fruit flavored cream chocolate. We have orange cream from the Whitman side and strawberry cream from Russell Stover side. Whitman's is a dark chocolate orange and Russell Stover's is a milk chocolate strawberry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Um, that's so not ladylike to do on camera. <laughs> Anyways. All right. So let's try the dark chocolate orange. Have you guys ever had those big giant chocolate oranges? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, dark chocolate and orange go really well together. The orange flavor is decent. I spoke too soon. Okay, so it's good. It is a cream, but it tastes, I don't know. Maybe this box is just like super old or something. That's disappointing. The cream is not like the cream that I would expect. Like, you know, I don't know. When I think of a chocolate covered cream, I think of something that isn't marshmallowy. I don't know. Have you ever had like a marshmallow cream where it's, it's kind of firm and it breaks apart? That's kind of what it reminds me of. It reminds me of an old Halloween candy. Let's see if Russell Stover's is the same. Mm. Well, I would think that these wouldn't be kind of old, but... It kind of has that homemade marshmallow feel. I don't know if you guys have ever made marshmallow before, but it's not like, you know, melting marshmallows in a pan. But I don't I have no idea. I can't recall like the type of texture it is, but it's not creamy like you would think pouring out of some kind of squeezy tube. It's more of of just a 
more compact type of cream. Anyways, I actually am going to be giving this one to Whitman's. They did not, Stover's, Russell Stover's did not get a queen sweep on this one. Thank you, Good Mythical Morning crew, for giving me that phrase. I promise I'm not going to steal it from you because that is all you. But uh, I liked the flavor of the the orange cream more than I liked the strawberry cream, which is really odd because I love strawberry cream chocolates. Go figure. So that... That was it. That was all the flavors. So in the end, I am still going to say if you want decent flavored chocolate from a convenience store or from a drug store, I would go with the Russell Stover's for $9.99. They have multitude of different kinds of assorted chocolates. One of my favorites is the assorted creams normally. Uh, which I will be trying out later because I bought myself a box. Why not? Um, but either way, Russell Stover's just had, for one, it had better chocolate, had better tasting chocolate. Uh, I think the almonds were, they just tasted better than the chocolate covered peanuts. And you get the same amount in each one. Russell Stover's chocolates themselves are much larger than the Whitman's. Plus, I think you get a much better variety with the um, Russell Stover's. So unladylike. I'm so sorry. Honestly, I think you'd be better off with getting the Russell Stover's just because they do have larger chocolates. Better chocolate. Um more variety. So that is it for this episode. That was kind of nice and quick and easy. Um, I really enjoy chocolate. So yeah, I will be eating these probably with my mom <laughs> for the next several days. Um, I can't think of anything else. I really do hope you guys had a wonderful new year. I am filling, filming this on January 2nd, and to be honest, I'm already tired and probably need another week, another weekend off, but it is how it is. Yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and come back next week because I'm going to be trying something that I don't think I would ever try in the normal world. <laughs> But I'm trying it for you. Why? Because I love you. And I want you to, you know, experience my pain so that you can know what to do and what not to do. In this case, it's going to be canned foods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't know what got into me on that one. But that should be fun. So, catch you guys next Monday. And I'll see you later.